The 4th of July is about celebrating America, cooking out with friends and family, and of course, fireworks. How to keep yourself and your furry friends safe when enjoying these flaming festivities. Take a look at this out of Miami. It's the tallest 4th of July display in the country at 700 feet tall. The electronic display is lighting up the Paramount Miami World Center, one of the tallest buildings in the city. This is CBS 6 Early Morning. Thanks for joining us on this Independence Day. It's 4th of July. I'm Brennan King and Farah. And I'm Caroline Colbert and Fariba. We're going to get to your news of the day in just a second. But let's get on your get a look at your Independence Day forecast with Tom Patton. Tom, you mentioned we may see some storms, but we should hopefully be clear for fireworks, right? Hopefully. That's kind of how it appears to be right now. We'll see some afternoon storms through the very early evening. They'll probably break up a little bit as well and sort of spread out a bit more into the late afternoon. I'll talk about that here in a moment. Let's get you out the door right now. If you're heading that direction, I'll head over here and we'll show you what's going to be happening today. It's going to be partly sunny, hot and humid highs will be in the mid to upper 90s today. Yes, the mid to upper 90s. It'll feel like it's probably a little bit over 100 at times. Taking down wherever they formed and things should start to get rather quiet by then. A marginal risk severe weather. That's mainly around Richmond north and westward. Heavy rain will be possible in any storm just about any day now going forward because the humidity now this time of year gets very high. So you can get some downpours in a short amount of time. 65 is our dew point right now. South winds around seven miles per 